Welcome to a quick Splatoon 2 news video on the channel. This is just going to be a quick news roundup. We got some new details from Nintendo of America and the Squid Research Lab about the Octo Expansion DLC. Pretty much what this is, is Nintendo of America giving out official translations of what we got from the Splatoon Japan Twitter account last week and pretty much what we have learned is that Captain Cuttlefish will be the leader of the new Squid Beak Splatoon which secretly protects the world of Inklings from the Octarians. Now I'm not sure whether this is like the same Squid Beak Splatoon that we heard about in the first game but how they've put it is the following. This is Captain Cuttlefish leader of the new Squid Beak Splatoon which secretly protects the world of Inklings from Octarian forces. He looks very old but won fame as a brave fighter. Along with his apprentice Agent Bree, he's been out on patrol. Unfortunately, it looks like he somehow strayed into the underground world and lost track of Agent Bree as well. Now, we did actually see Agent Bree in the trailer, so, you know, this sort of brings up a few questions about, you know, how did that actually happen? And I think what will happen is that Agent Bree actually discovers Agent 8 so that's just a little fear that I've got knocking about. So yeah, based on that, it seems like Captain Cuttlefish has brought back Squid Beak Splatoon to protect the Inklings from the Octarian forces. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how that will pan out in the Octo expansion. Also, Nintendo of America have confirmed that you will need to complete the Octo expansion to be able to unlock Octolings for the multiplayer. This is what they had to say on the Squid Research Lab on the Splatoon 2 Tumblr. Once you've helped Agent 8 reach the surface and completed the Octo Expansion, you will unlock the ability to play as one of these tentacled terrors. The last thing I'm gonna talk about in this video is something that I forgot to mention in my last video yesterday, rounding up the Octo Expansion news that we got. So pretty much last week, I said that maybe the levels in the Octo Expansion will be difficult because Pearl Marina, they will allow you to skip levels and Nintendo of America have confirmed my theory just because they have said the following. Agent A will face over 80 tough tests on the journey out of the underground. With a little help from off the hook though, Agent A will be able to skip the tests that are just too difficult. And don't worry, even if you skip some tests, you'll still be able to play as an Octoling once you escape the underground. So. This Octo Expansion, it sounds like it is going to be really hard, but you know, obviously they're putting that skipping level feature through Pearl Marina, so yeah, it's good that they have done that. I'll try to beat all of the levels myself, but if I can't do it, at least I have an option there. So I've got one more thing to cover in this news roundup, and I will actually try and post this today. If not, it will be posted on Wednesday. And pretty much Nintendo of America have tweeted out saying meet a certain condition in Splatoon 2 after the 3.0 update launches and Callie of the Squid Sisters will appear in Tentakill Outpost in Otto Canyon. She will help track Agent 4 stats. So that was what the conversation was between Callie and Marie and she talked about Agent 4. That was one of the questions that I did bring up in a previous video but she will help track agent 4 stats so that was what the um, screenshot was about we still don't know what the condition is hopefully it will be just beating a single player and not beating a single player with every single weapon so not getting 1000 percent fresh i hope that isn't the condition but i think i might actually go and beat the single player now with every single weapon just in case it is that um, so yeah, I'd like some clarification on that really soon so that I know what to do to unlock Kale. But yeah, it's nice that we know what she will do in Octo Canyon when she does return with a 3.0 update and when you do meet the condition. The main thing to come out of this video is that Captain Cultifish has set up a new Squid Beak Splatoon to protect Inklings from the Octarians and Basically, you got to complete the Octo Expansion. There was a little bit of confusion around this. Some people saying maybe you don't have to complete it, but yes, you do have to complete the Octo Expansion. 
But if you are finding some of the levels tough, it does sound like the Opta expansion will be difficult, Off the Hook will allow you to skip the levels. So that is pretty much it for this quick little Opta expansion news roundup. Of course, when we do get any new details, then I will bring them to you on the channel. But that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know your thoughts about everything that I've talked about in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.